my icon series just released but there's a lot of secrets that you don't know and even i didn't know like a secret edit style let's hop in so as you guys know there's a lot of oni masks on the skin it is my logo and my brand there's an oni mask as the back bling there's an oni mask on the red t-shirt and there's an oni mask on the shoulder piece of the skin and you can also wear an oni mask on the face two different selectable styles but did you also know there is a secret Oni mask that not a lot of people know about, and it's on the red edit style. While gliding, you can see that there is an Oni mask logo on each shoe, and you can really only see this while you're gliding down from the bus. A lot of people were concerned about the shoulder piece on the edit styles that it might get in the way, and the shoulder piece was originally on the right shoulder, and when you ADS, it would have been in view. So we decided to move the shoulder piece to the left side so that it doesn't get in the way and we were very intentional about making sure that the skin is very usable and not pay to lose if you zoom in on the face of the skin you'll notice that two of my iconic moles are on my face and originally epic didn't have the moles on the face but i actually requested that they add them when i was younger and in school i actually got bullied for my moles and kids would make fun of me and it was i was very self-conscious about it i'm very confident in my skin i am who i am and i i did want them to be added so that it resembles me even more and it just shows how far i've come and i'm a lot more self-confident now and if you're in school you're getting bullied people pick on you for different stuff that you can't control just know i went through the same thing you just got to keep pushing forward okay so the cypher pk emote the cypher strut is a huge hit a lot of people love the emote it's only 300 v bucks as well if you end up getting it use code cypher pk but where is the inspiration for this emote what's going on here so i'm a huge fan of spider-man especially the original spider-man with toby mcguire spider-man 3 i loved it i watched it in theaters i used to always go see the spider-man movies for my birthday you guys know the iconic scene where he's walking down with his new hairstyle pop collar i really loved that scene when i saw it as a kid i still love it to this day so I took a lot of inspiration from that scene and I also added the flex because it's something that we do on stream a lot. The music track for the emo is in the funk genre and I listen to a lot of that while lifting and working out. And the emo actually has its very own lyrics. Here's the player thriller gang gang walking with you with me bang even though you can't hang you can do your damn thing but try to be like Cypher that PK reminds you you know I'll be the only survivor. I killed it. And a bonus secret about the emote is the description of the emote just says sheesh and that's because i say that on stream a lot and i didn't know what else to put so it just makes perfect sense so with the cypher pk cup we brought the exotic cypher pk trap tower my own unique creation that actually initially made me go viral way back in 2018 when they first added the launch pad we wanted to bring this to life but initially it wasn't going to be a trap tower we were discussing about bringing in an exotic rapid fire smg we had ideas of making the exotic rapid fire and maybe while you have it equipped your speed would boost up to 200%. It was gonna be a lot more chaotic. And here's how the Trap Tower came to life. I was actually invited to visit Epic HQ while we were planning the Icon series release. I was having a dinner when I just randomly brought up the Trap Tower and how cool it would be if it was an item. And then one of the game developers actually said, for your cup, maybe we could bring the Trap Tower into the game. Like it might be hard to make it happen, but let's see what we can do and we'll get back to you. After a few weeks, they actually sent the first prototype of the trap tower, which was a trap tower, but instead of the tires and the launch pad, it was just a bouncer on the ground that would bounce you up into the spikes. This was cool, but it wasn't quite the trap tower that I was known for. So it would have felt a little bit off and I asked them to, to do a little bit more testing. So they decided to remove the bouncer and put a launch pad. And that way the trap tower could be used for mobility for defense and for offense, making it the perfect item. And this made for some insane clips in the Cypher PK Cup. Epic and Victory Pictures actually made a documentary about me covering my entire life story. And there's actually a very big secret hint in that documentary. So go watch it and let me know if you find it. In that documentary, we actually went back to the hotel that I was staying at after I left my parents' house to pursue full-time streaming. This was the exact same room. It wasn't just the same hotel. I have a picture right here showing me in that room. As you can see, the sheets are the same. The mirror in the back is the same. I did stream for a week there before I found my first ever apartment and really took on being a full-time streamer. But quick note, guys, I was 18 when I left my parents' house and I was already making thousands of dollars from streaming and making YouTube content before I decided to leave. I was not leaving without the financial support 
that I had to provide. And the Cypher PK spray is actually an impossible style because it combines the red mask from the red t-shirt style and the purple eyes and scar for the empowered style. So it combines both styles into one spray. The loading screen also does the same thing by combining the red t-shirt with the purple transformation and it looks sick. You can still get the loading screen and the emoticon on the Cypher PK's pit map. So I actually got ripped for this cypher pk skin i was working out a lot over the past couple of years and once i found out i was going to be a skin i really started to take things a lot more seriously during my workout streams people were asking me why i'm working out so hard and i would always tell them that i was preparing for my role in the marvel universe and that was the code name for preparing for my role in fortnite because of all the marvel collabs that they've had and all the marvel skins but it went right over everyone's head. They actually thought I was gonna be in a Marvel movie. So we actually made our own custom trailer for the skin. This isn't made by Epic, but they approved it. And in this trailer, you can see a Jonesy variant. This is actually my editor, Jack. This is his main skin, which is why we threw that in there. And in that trailer, you might be wondering why we're on top of a snowy mountain. This is actually a reference to the weather station, my favorite drop spot on the chapter two map. And guys, if you're in the Austin or Central Texas area, there's actually something that you can go see very soon. I'll give you more details about it, but it has everything to do with my icon series. And for some reason, if you put the hit me back bling on one of the empowered styles for the Cyber PK skin, it is extremely bright in game. As you can see, this is almost blinding and I would never use this while playing because it would just be too distracting. Speaking of the back bling, did you know that the Cypher PK back bling is double reactive? It obviously transforms with eliminations up to five eliminations, but on every single elimination, the eyes actually light up even after five. So it stays reactive the entire time. And the Cypher scimitar, some people are wondering why I chose a scimitar and that comes from my origins in a game called RuneScape. It's where I first started content creation. And there was a lot of scimitars in that game. So I decided to bring one to life in the Fortnite universe. And the Oni mask is actually inspired from a character I played in For Honor, a medieval fighting game. The character's name is Shigoki. Um, and I was using him to win a lot of tournaments. So that's where the Oni mask comes from. It's honestly really cool. I was able to bring from other games inspiration that made me the gamer that I am today. Originally, there was only going to be three edit styles for the skin. It was going to be the red t-shirt. It was going to be reactive off and reactive on. The full purple style was only going to be obtainable by getting the five eliminations in game. Epic actually surprised me by throwing in the full purple style and my reaction was priceless. Ain't no way, bro. Oh, man. What? Wait, there's four styles. Yo, I didn't even know that. Yo, that's that's fire. I did not know that. Thank you so much for watching. The Cypher PK skin is in the shop right now. Go check it out and use code Cypher PK before it's gone.